Join me on my adventure of changing my old Crest thermocouple to the new version. The nice people at Crest Manufacture Company supplied me with a new Type K model. It is a Y-028. The total length of the stem is about 4 inches, making the whole unit a little less than 5 inches total. To get started, first thing is first, I unplugged my kiln. The thermocouple is the little metal rod poking out of the kiln wall. This one looks pretty old and is a nice color of burnt. To remove the old thermocouple, I started on the left side of the panel and removed the screws. I then carefully pulled it back to access the inside. I unscrewed the electric wires connected to it. I unscrewed the old thermocouple and removed it very carefully. It had about 40 years of dirt built up in it, so I decided to vacuum it out with a soft brush accessory. The old style of thermocouple was connected to the top of the two screws with eye terminals. The new style does not use eye terminals, so they need to be cut off. I used a wire stripper and stripped the plastic about 3 fourths of an inch. I bent one half of the strip section with pliers, creating a 3 eighths inch long strip section. The two terminals on the thermocouple are marked positive and negative. The red wire is screwed into the negative terminal and the yellow wire is screwed into the positive terminal. I carefully inserted the wired thermocouple into the small opening in the kiln wall. I used the same screws from the old unit and put everything back together. Thank you for joining me on my adventures of learning as I go with ceramics. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to take pictures of my installation and send them over to Cress just to make sure I installed it correctly. They have been really helpful with all my questions on my old kiln. They were even able to look up my model and told me she was made in 1981. I think all I need now to do is to give her a name. If you'd like to continue on my adventures of learning with ceramics, please be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Be sure to check out my website, hardshellslimysnell.com to keep up with all my journeys and to see if I have any goods for sale.